Tiffany, do you think that you saw, did you see an increase in people that were maybe hesitant before about social media or that type of marketing that like you were just crazy busy because people were wanting to know more about it now or uh, kind of pivot towards that way? Yeah, so I actually started here in uh, January. Okay. So when the pandemic first hit, I wasn't really here to experience okay. that firsthand, but I was working in the news industry. Okay. Uh, so I was still uh, in touch with everything that was happening Got and it. writing okay. about business and the ways that they were dealing with uh, some of these new struggles. And I think uh, more than anything, it did force a lot of people to take a step back and say, all right, I have poured so much resources into the ability to talk with people face to face or to get their bodies physically in my store. And it really forced people to take a step back and say, okay, what can I do differently? Yeah. Uh, for a lot of people too, some products were really built around having a football party sure. or having a birthday party. And so, well, what do you do if you are a bakery that bakes a lot of cakes and now no birthday parties are happening anymore? Sure. What do you do differently? And we saw a really cool uh, adaptation with a lot of those people who, instead of you know making dozens of cupcakes for a party, they would sell take-home kits. Got it. So that you know moms who are home with their kids could have their kids you know decorate those cupcakes, but sure. then also they didn't have to go through all the work of making them themselves and really dirtying up their yeah. kitchen. Uh, we saw a lot of cool adjustments too with um, businesses deciding to partner with other people or work with them. Uh, one cool example is HR Pop and Snacks, which is uh, just over in Gibbon. She, her business model is a lot based on bringing fun popcorn to a party, right? Okay. Uh, so, you know, you get the red popcorn for a Husker game, and that's really fun and exciting. Yep. But what do you do if people aren't gathering for those events anymore? So she was able to work with uh, another one of our members, Mocha's Kitchen, who was able to help her get that product in stores. Oh. You know, it's sold here, yeah. but, you know, here sometimes people are thinking, oh, I'm going out for that specialty item. Whereas if she can be in a grocery store that somebody just happens to pass by sure. and say, oh yeah, I'm gonna grab that and I am going to have that as a fun snack with my kids tonight. Sure. And so lots of cool cooperations like that happening too. I mean, we are stronger together cool. and I think that business has really proved that and yeah. they're willing to help each other out yeah. in a time that could have been really divisive and they could have said, well, it's everybody for themselves because times are really hard right now. Sure. But in Nebraska, we saw the opposite. We saw more people helping each other out and giving advice, and I think we're all better because of that. That's awesome. That's great to hear.